Hello YouTube, um, this is going to be a first uh, in a series of videos that I'll be doing and posting on YouTube. Uh, it's about my new inverter system. It's a PowerStar W7 uh, inverter. Uh, this particular system is a 24 volts, 6000 watts inverter and it has an output of 230 volts. Um, uh, what I have here um, is a system that has 800 ampere hour battery bank. Uh, basically, I have eight batteries stacked together in series parallel. Uh, for what we're looking at here, we have uh, two banks um, in two racks. Uh, this is a rack A. Uh, as you can see, it goes from 1A to 4A. Um, this is first part of the, of a rack. Uh, sorry, first part part of a bank. And then this is rack B. It goes from 1B, uh, as you can see, it runs to uh, 4B. And each of the batteries are connected in series parallel. For, so what I have here is a series, 24 volts, and it goes down to, to the ground. Four banks. Uh, right now I have a 3 slash 0 uh, wire gauge by Tempo. Uh, that's what I'm currently using for uh, my system. It's a 3 slash 0 uh, which is a 95 mm cable and it's it's great. Uh, the, system's not, the system is not running hot, the wires are not hot so I don't have any losses in the cable. The bigger the wire the better and it's cool. The wires run cool all along and I can actually take the temperature um, of my wires using uh, this infrared gun it makes my life so much easier I think anybody doing this should have this kind of gun available to use at any point in time um, that's it um, I have here you know, that's a board uh, that's electric uh, circuit of the system you ha have a meter here uh, a digital meter a kilo uh, meter that actually measures the power consumed uh, power going through the inverter um, it's doing quite good the system is just a couple of days uh, old uh, yeah and it's performing I have here too uh, it's a digital voltmeter stroke ammeter that uh, allows me to measure the voltage and current at the output of the inverter at any point in time uh, this here it's a midnight uh, battery it's a, it checks the state of battery of battery charge um, right now I'm happy when I see 27.2 volts uh, it's just the correct voltage for the system um, over here I have a 63 amp rotary switch uh, this allows me to actually uh, put the inverter in inverter mode either switch off the system or put it in bypass mode so it's uh, a whole lot easier if uh, my wife wants to do it, wants to do a change or something and that's the input circuit breaker that feeds uh, the charger that's uh, about a 100 amp circuit breaker because the system actually draws when while charging it draws about 85 amps and that's the closest to it and you also have a, a battery uh, a switch uh, to, to cut battery caught out disconnect switch uh, that's in the my blue seal it's a great system uh, and that's a 48 volts uh, uh, battery system you can take a maximum 48 volts um, and the amperage is quite good and this takes a this can take a it's a 300 ampere fuse which goes into the system yeah, because it's going to be drawn a large current to the DC part of the system for now, at this point in time, the system is connected together the positive negative using bus bars. Everything is connected to bus bars and I have bolts and nuts. It's a copper bus bar, original copper bus bar, so the conductivity is great, um, has minimal resistance. So, And uh, while the system is charging, I can check each current going to each uh, battery bank and they're fairly the same. It's, it's, it's fairly constant, which makes me happy. I don't have a, a, a bank of batteries overcharged, uh, not ch getting enough charge uh, uh, in comparison to another one. Uh, 
basically at this point in time uh, this is going to be the first video like I said and it's going to be the first phase uh, of this project I uh, intend incorporating a solar system into it I'm going to get a charge controller into the system so the charge controller is going to be located somewhere here on this either on this board or I'm going to create it somewhere here and I'm going to have a solar panels outside um, in the backyard yes um, with this I intend to use a solar uh, a pole mounted uh, uh, solar panel due to space uh, and it's going to give me a very good optimization so what I run on this system at this point in time I have a uh, uh, two refrigerators uh, constantly on on the system uh, I have um, a couple of electric fans uh, I also have uh, a 60 inch TV running on this and my electronics uh, uh, sound system and all that running running on the system these are the things that I have in, and the light uh, in the house here yeah basically it's performing fine uh, I think the, the the longest time it's been on uh, I ran it for about uh, six hours uh, without uh, power from the grid and it held up pretty well uh, at the end of the day uh, the, 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 the state of charge uh, the battery state of charge uh, dropped to 80% uh, you know which is quite good I see for about six hours it's not bad so th this is it in short and uh, hopefully uh, once I install uh, the solar panels and the solar system I'm going to do another video for that and I'm actually going to upload it on the system thanks for watching you have a great morning bye bye